In this video, we're going to be talking about custom fields in Zoho inventory and Zoho books. More specifically, I'm going to show you how to update a custom field in inventory, in Zoho inventory, or in Zoho books through API. Um, so let me start out. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. Um, we're going to create a field, and then we're going to um, create a quick script on how to update that, that particular field. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen, share screen, and share. So right now we are in Zoho CRM. I like to do all my coding inside Zoho CRM, um, simply because I, I like to standalone functions. So uh, let's start out and let's go to Zoho inventory. Now, Zoho inventory and Zoho books are, are essentially the same thing. So let's, um, once we're in Zoho inventory or in Zoho books, we're going to click settings and we're going to go to preferences. And in preferences, I can go to invoices and go to field customization and I can add a new field. Uh, and let's call this, uh, this field demo field. Is mandatory? No. Show in PDF? No. We're going to make this a, a text box. Um, these are the same fields in Zoho CRM. Um, yeah, I, I think it's just easiest to do a text box. We're going to have the least amount of error. Uh, no, this is not uh, PII, but that that's like customer information. Default value, blah, blah. And let's go ahead and save. So now we have a field identified. This is demo field right here. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is get the ID for the field. Now I'm gonna show you something, Zoho inventory API. This is a little secret. You can always just check the APIs if you ever wanna know what's going on. I'm just gonna to go to invoices, create an invoice. And then somewhere down here, there's gonna be custom fields. Custom fields, right here, custom fields. And so it actually requires us to send in an ID for that custom field. Custom fields, copy, paste, up, 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 up. Custom fields, show attributes, custom field ID. It says it's optional, um, but it's, it's mandatory if you wanna fill out the field. Um, so, uh, we want to get the ID. What do we do? We click here and then actually it's just hidden up in the URL. There's no other way to get it. It's just that it's there. So we're going to, uh, copy this. I'm going to hit command C cause I'm on a Mac. Um, and I'm going to paste it here just cause I want to, I want to save it somewhere. So now inside Zoho CRM, we're going to create a quick, um, invoice script, right? Now, before I, I show you anything more, let's make sure that we have our connectors in Zoho CRM to inventory, um, because as of a while ago, that was a requirement. I have one right here, inventory, uh, and it's called inventory. So let's go ahead and uh, save this as well. So now we're back in functions. Let's create a function. Um, <clears throat> custom field invoice demo and I'm going to copy this paste this and we're going to make this a standalone function <clears throat> all right so now we're starting with our code so what do we want to do first well we want to start out by um assembling a invoice but in order to send uh, assemble an invoice we need to search we need a customer. So we need to search for customer and then create customer if one does not exist. <clears throat> and then we're going to assemble an invoice. Now, I'm also lazy. Um, so we're not going to use a product on this invoice. We're just going to you know, do some description or something like that. So let's start out. We have the API. Let's go. Uh, customer equals Zoho dot inventory dot and let's check. Let's do status get organizations. 
get records module is customer organization is um let's look organization is this one right here Servo, deluge, Okay, right, so it is not customer, it is contacts. That's the org ID. And uh, info, let's just see if this works. Customer. You're not authorized. That's fair enough. So then we need a criteria map. <clears throat> I'm just going to copy and paste something here. Query map is this one. And, and then we're going to go comma inventory. I believe that's what it was. We look back here, inventory, copy, paste. Yeah, we're good. There we go. So here are all the, the people. As you can see, if I search for uh, Andrew, uh, maybe King, there we go. King, King, I saw that was a customer. Customer's name is King. So we're going to go with King for some reason. Um, hmm. If a customer, and if we look at the response, Customer dot get contact dot to list dot size uh, equals equals zero. Then you know we're going to do something around that uh, info. Help, there are no contacts. What do I do? Well, piece of code, nobody knows. There we go. So we know that there's at least one. Let's go else. Um, customer to use. Use equals customer dot get contact up to list. Let's copy this. Ba -ba. Dot get zero. We're now using this customer. <clears throat> Info. Customer to use. Paste. Let's run it. Boom. All right. So now we have a customer that we can use. And we, need, we want to assemble an invoice. So if we go back to here, I'm actually going to copy this because I, I like where we are with custom fields. I'm going to paste this here and let's take a look at this. So create an invoice. What is required? Well, a customer ID, right? Um, and line items. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make a customer ID. Okay, assembling an invoice. Invoice map equals map. Invoice map dot put customer underscore ID. Uh, it looks like this. Copy the customer ID. And the value we want to put that in there is actually right here. So I'm going to use my trusty JSON parser, JSON parser. And it's actually this nice French one. Oh, oh no, it's gone. 
Well, we could use this one. Contact ID. The dot get contact ID. So we then have this here. Um, and now we want to make one for uh, line items equals list. And we have line items. And then within that, we go one line item item equals map. And then one line item. Dot put, I don't know, we gotta get some item in there. So let's take a look, look at this. Uh, payment terms, no, we wanna look at this. So all this stuff is optional for a line item. Line item ID, item ID. Uh, let's put a name. Name. Test products. <clears throat> Online item dot put quantity is equal to one. And then we'll put this line item. Line items dot add one line item. And then within that, we're going to go invoice map dot put. Uh, we want to put line items, line item in there with the items map. Okay, so now that we have our invoice made, what's the next step we, we got to do? Well, we're going to look at, we're up here, custom fields. Custom fields is a field. And within that field, it's a list and then an object again. So let's go ahead and add that bit. So it's going to look like this. So um, add custom field value. OK, so it's going to go, we're going to start with the map. Custom field map equals map. And within that custom field map, we're going to put some information. The first piece of information we're going to put in there is the custom field ID. Paste, comma. And then we actually are going to copy this down and we're going to put in a value. Uh, and this goes back in here, value. And this is test value. Now, in this custom field map, the custom field ID is the same as the custom field ID we looked at earlier. If we go back, it's this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, Control C, and then I'm going to paste it right here. Paste. And now that we have the map, we're going to say before this, we're going to add a uh, custom field list equals list. <clears throat> and then we're going to add the custom field map to the custom field list. So add uh, custom field list. So now what this looks like is this will be a square bracket. Um, and then inside that square bracket is this object. And so finally, now that we have that custom field list, we are going to go invoice map dots put, uh, I don't remember, but the value is this. It's going to be the custom fields. So this custom field, it'll look like that. Um, and that will allow us to send off this, in, this information to an invoice. So now let's go invoice or actually info 
equals Zoho dot inventory dot create record. And the module is uh, invoices. 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 Then it's this for the organization ID, then the invoice map. Okay, so I, uh, I paused the recording there for a second. Um, you also need to add this label. The label in this case is demo field. That's just the, 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 the normal name of the field, right? That you've, uh, you've entered. So uh, now when I run this, <clears throat> okay, let's uh, then refresh this. I open this one up and click edit. You're gonna see the demo field is test value with the test product uh, in here. So just to recap, you're going to need to identify the custom field ID and you're gonna need to label the, um, uh, the field this way. Once you've assembled your invoice, you can send this in and it updates. You can also go back to edit the custom field and say, uh, show in this PDF, Yes, and then if I go back to the invoice and click this, we'll see uh, demo field. It's right there. Wondering where it was. So that's how you create a custom field and then um, enter information into that custom field within Zoho inventory or books.